appropriate. She is so desperate for money. She gonna come to work with her child. Who does that? Hey, I recognize those people. Wait a minute. I recognize one of them too. She was that. She took my dress and all that. And she looks happy as hell. Where's my dress? before I give you a reason to call 911. Oh, so you want to give me a reason to call 911? Huh? Okay, well, here's 911. We're about to kick your ass out of here right now. Say out and don't come back. Okay, you know what? Get back over here right now. Violet, chill. Chill, chill, chill. No, if she wants to get even ugly, we'll let it be that way. She has gone too far. I know, but just calm down. Look at the bright side. We still have the money to get the bomb we need. I guess you're right. Let's just head back to the hotel. We will buy it tomorrow since every store in town is closed right now. Here's a list of what happened with the house mockers. Oh dear, who could have done this? It's pretty mysterious of who the culprit was for hacking into the house mockers. But how will we be able to find out? Don't worry, Lucky is still looking for more clues so we can find some more information on who the culprit is. Okay guys, let's dive into the security system and find some evidence. I'll be in charge of the computer guys. Alright then. Here it is. This video is not getting the same way. Keep watching. That's what they all say. Then, I expect that you go to the doctor to get your mind fixed and come back with your mind organized. Otherwise, you can kiss this job goodbye. Yes, sir. Hold up. Rewind to the part where she said about the tickets. On it. Well, some of the people went in a plane with no tickets. It all started with one person asked for eight tickets and I told them that they were sold out. But I was feeling something funny. She must be brainwashed by eight people. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes. I'll text Andrew and let him know about this. I would like to say that Andrew's coming over to our house so I can help him and his dance partner practice for the prom. Oh, well, Rick. Andrew's coming over. That's great to hear. I can't wait. I wonder if Francesca and his dance partner are coming over here as well? I really like to meet Andrew's dance partner especially. I hope so, Summer. I hope so. Hey, Lucy. I got a text message. What is it? Looks it's like Andrew's here, here for and we're with Francesca and Andrew's dance Come partner as well. Let's get out Let's and go watch the front door and answer it. Oh, 
okay, let's watch the video Ox sent me. Good morning, sir. I've been getting a lot of complaints that you have been letting people into the plane without giving them tickets. I demand an explanation now. When some of the people went in a plane with no tickets, it all started with one person asked for eight tickets and I told them that they were sold out. But I was feeling something funny. I swear I'm not making this up one more time. Some of the people went in the plane with no tickets. It all started with one person asked for eight tickets and I told them that they were sold out. But I was feeling something funny. I swear I'm not The ticket master was brainwashed by eight people. people. They were asking for eight tickets, but they were sold out. So one of them brainwashed the ticket master and sneaked into the plane without tickets. Oh my god. You need to call Joe one and tell him about this incident. On it. Yes, Andrew. Joe Wong, Ox just sent me a video where a ticket master was being brainwashed by a group of eight people and our manager snapped at her for letting passengers in without a ticket. Oh dear, I'll send the video to the manager and we'll include it on the Y bird and run some tests on this mystery. Thanks for the information. No problem. Okay, while Joe Wong is working on the situation, we can go back and watch the rest of the movie. Gee, there's no parking around here. This place is packed. There's one. Let's go get it. What? That was the only spot. Excuse me, woman. But that's our spot. Well, I got here first. Get used to it. You better move that car before we move it for you. Just find another way for the love of God. Ugh. Actually, you with them pink dress got on my bad side yesterday for performing so nasty. So you know what? Y'all get what y'all deserve. See ya! Hey, get back over here now. Violet, Violet, chill out. Well, how are we going to get our spot back? Hey, look over there. There is a forklift over there. Yeah, like that is going to get our spot back. Oh, wait a minute. Lady, we told you that was our parking space. If you didn't took it, you wouldn't be in this situation. Girl, you better put my car down right now! Are you sure you want your car down? I said, put my car down right now! Okay, down it will go. What? You said you wanted it down, and you got your karma when you tried to steal my dress. Ha 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 ha. Warning, the following scene contains scenes of humor of a censored explicit nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes, we did it. Justice is served. That's what she gets for trying us. Serves her right. Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, hey, get off me. Have you lost your damn mind? You think I'm playing with you, don't you? If it wasn't for my car insurance, I could sell, I could, ooh, I could sue you for every time on that car. I don't want you, so help me, God. Because that's how I see you. I promise you, you won't break. I don't care about no fucking insurance. I don't care about no fucking insurance. Come on, 
do you think I will be next? To be continued. Stay away from that woman. She has problems or something. Agree. She's like a crazy woman who always has stupid problems with herself. Hey, Mum. How's Viley? Who? Viley? Oh, she's doing just fine. Just still being a normal teenager. Um, I hope so. There's nothing going on with her. Right? Oh, Emma, you worry too much. It's not like she's planning anything evil or anything like that. Just relax and enjoy yourself. Just to be sure she's not doing any more trouble, okay? You got my word. Okay, then. Good night. Good night. Hey, Brian, do you honestly think that I worry too much? Because my mum has been acting weird for the past three days. Well, to me, I wouldn't say worry too much. You're just looking out for her. Besides, she promised us that Viley wouldn't leave the house. I guess you're right, Brian. Viley's been behaving surprisingly well lately. My mom has also taken a psychology internship in her sophomore year of college, and she helped people with bad behaviors, so I'm pretty sure she has a good enough experience. Well, let's just see what's on the television. Today on GNN. An unnamed teenage girl in Los Angeles has destroyed someone's car. According to local authorities, the teenager woke up at a stranger over a parking spot. Let's go live to Drew Henson. I met this ungrateful and her so-called friend, that old lady, and she wanted the dress I was going to buy, and we started fighting. And I was whooping the for real, I promise you I was. And then, this had the nerves to steal the dress from me. Then, I see this. Yeah, she has anger issues. You know what? Let's just watch a movie on Netflix instead. Okay, let's see what we can watch. Okay, so far, there were some strange footprints on the cell doors, and the house arrest monument was packed. And the Ticketmaster was brainwashed. We still don't know who. But don't worry, Lucky Bat is still looking for clues to who the culprit is. But in case if he sees anything suspicious, he will report it to us. Hey guys, want to go to Dave and Buster's? Yes we do. Alright, let's go. What's going on? I'm not sure, 